Amy, I see you've got something with Marcus. you. Marcus. What, what, what are you going to show us now? I see something in your hand. <laughs> Well, Marcus, it's a shovel, and within the last hour, the city's health department issued a warning for those of you that are shoveling some snow, telling you to take some breaks, frequent breaks to do it in shifts because they do not want you to exhaust yourself and to be out in the cold during extended periods of time, especially as the cold gets colder and colder. And I can tell you that's exactly what's happening, especially if you're out here for a long time. And if you just look at this snow, it's a heavy snow. So imagine lifting pounds and pounds of this, shoveling repeatedly. And we're going to go to some video now, if we have it, of what this snow is doing to the local businesses. As you can see, it's pretty much a ghost town. You don't see any customers, and most of the stores are actually closed. We found one brave 7-Eleven employee. They opened. They're the only business that's open right now, and that's only because the staff member actually stayed overnight. We also saw a, saw a police officer. He was patrolling the very few businesses that are open to ensure that everyone is safe. But he says he's been going along, and um, most of them are closed. And if you just get a live look, you can see why officials are telling you to stay off the roads. This car is being towed. It's a small, a compact car, not equipped to be out in these treacherous conditions. That driver obviously not happening, but we've been warning you for the last 48 hours to stay home. If you don't have to leave the house, stay indoors, and this is why. This no is nothing to play with. Back to you. Yes, and we should, I mean, people know this, but let me